All right, guys, and welcome back to another video. It is currently July 7th, 2023, and as you can see, we are back down in the lovely home gym, aka the dungeon, and I'm about to get after a little trap workout here. Um, and yes, I said it, the traps are the new abs, so don't neglect those traps. So here I am starting out with your traditional barbell shrug. This is the foundation, the godfather, the one and only, the barbell shrug, the most essential free weight movement to build strong, big, large traps. And here you can see I am repping out some pretty decent weight. I started with 315, moved up to 405. Rep range is going to be anywhere between 10 and 15. Here's five plates getting situated. Form starts to break, but listen, when doing shrugs, it's one of those exercises where I think let your form break a little bit, get the extra reps, move the weight, get that body used to heavy weight. It's great for your deadlift, and it will definitely, definitely build your traps and make them stronger. So break your form, get a little crazy, get a little nasty, and go heavy on your shrugs. But also counter that with some lighter weight in a little better form to really get a lot of blood flow and really hit all angles of the trap during the movement. So here's 495. This was my second set. I think I got 10 or so there, but again, 10 to 15. Next, I'm moving over into a trap bar shrug. This is a trap bar deadlift bar. Great for your shrugs. Great for your traps. Most important part about this bar and this setup is that your hands are at another angle. They were forward facing with the barbell shrugs and now you got them at your sides at a different angle, hitting more of the outside of the trap and you can really squeeze and really hold your position. It also forces one position with your hand placement uh, and it's in the perfect spot. Thus why they call it a trap bar. Just a great bar to use for your traps. Unbelievable. The ability to squeeze that just that right angle to hit a different part of the trap. I love these things. So definitely give them a try if you have access to a trap bar. Next, I'm moving over into a face pull. And what's key about this movement is traditionally your face pull is great for your rear delt, but it all depends on the angle and the muscle-mind connection. So if you can pull that a little higher and really focus on the lower part of your trap, you see where it connects to the shoulder blade, you really wanna hit the head of that trap there. These things are awesome, so definitely give these a try. Great movement, great way to build your traps. Like I said, traps are the new abs. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We will see you guys next time.